This is probably one of the most remarkable ghost stories that I've ever heard. Set on the corner of Ferry Street and Ormond Street in Jarrow. On the evening of the 17th of August, 1913, a remarkable event occurred at this very spot. Two young children were coming along this street, turned left into Ferry Street where they lived. And they happened to look up at a window of a house on this corner. And they saw what looked like an elderly couple locked in an embrace as if they were cuddling each other. But when they looked at them, they noticed there was something quite odd. They seemed to be bathed in an eerie sort of light. And for whatever reason, these two kids came to conclude that they were looking at two ghosts. So they turned left and ran down Ferry Street to alert their parents. Now meanwhile, at the same time, across the road on this side, a woman looked out of her upstairs room across and she saw the same two figures in this window. She was puzzled by them. She had a friend in at the time who popped me in for some tea and she asked her friend to pop across the road, knock at the, uh, the door where these strange figures could be seen in the window and asked the householder who they were. She was intrigued. So the friend came across and knocked at the door. The woman asked her to come in, they went upstairs. They could see nothing in the room quite obviously. But the woman who had alerted her friend was still looking out of the window and she could see these two figures in the room as her friend and the householder were walking around. Meanwhile, the parents of these two children had been alerted. They came up and they could see the figures. Within a short space of time, a crowd had gathered, local residents, who could see these two mysterious characters. Now, times were different then and maybe thing, people took things like ghosts a little bit more seriously and they wouldn't come too close to the house so they gathered on the other side of the road now nobody would go near the house the crowds were standing on the other side of the street they didn't want to get too close because they didn't know what they were dealing with one chap eventually decided he was going to jump in where angels fear to tread and he walked across ferry street towards the house and then something quite awful happened as he approached the house he could see that this couple in the window this, this uh, spectral couple were locked in an embrace but it certainly wasn't a romantic one the chap actually had a knife in his hand and it looked as if he was about to plunge the knife into this woman's back now it was a horrible moment frozen in time one person seemingly about to murder another and when he came back across the road to this side of ferry street and he told them what had happened people started to wedge forward and sure enough it became clearer and they could clearly see an image of a man and a woman standing in the window and the man had a knife in his hand as if he was about to, to murder her. Now word spread very very quickly throughout the area and within a couple of hours right several hundred people had gathered the roads were blocked off Ormond Street behind me here Ferry Street were all blocked off and everyone could see this ghost. Now eventually the crowds dispersed thinking it was maybe just some sort of trick of the light and that everything would be okay in the morning. It wasn't they came back the next day and they could still see this image almost like a hologram of this couple in this window and that evening two and a half thousand people turned out the streets were absolutely blocked they were coming away from as far away as Chesterley Street fights broke out between those who believed they were seeing a ghost and those who believed it was simply some natural phenomenon and for four nights right Jarrow was just completely sealed off this area the center of Jarrow by these crowds of crowds of people and eventually the police had to uh, to be drafted in and, and, and break the crowds up after four days the apparitions disappeared nobody ever figured out who these two characters were the people of Jarrow at that time were absolutely enthralled by this story and very very spooked by it because so many of them could see quite clearly this couple in the window the woman being embraced by the man the man with a knife in his hand as if he was about to strike it into the arch of her back. A very, very scary story. Well, something very, very strange happened at that time which really made these people worry that they were seeing something that was truly, truly paranormal. To this day, the mystery been, hasn't been solved, but who knows, maybe somewhere, somehow, the Ferry Street Phantoms still linger on. They've never been seen since.